you have i think you have to put your foot down and say you know what i'll give you this i'll give you stellar service but i do it only on video you have to you have to tell people that this is how i do my business and then people get open to it and if they don't that's too bad this is an intro 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 hustle and float chart with your boy my boy matt wolf and joe fear hey welcome back to the hustle and float chart podcast what up what's up today we're talking about micro videos what are those they're videos that are micro. Uh-huh. Why should I need to know about micro videos, Matthew? How about instead of me telling you in the intro, <laughs> the episode will do the talking. Tease me. <laughs> I do that anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> what are we even talking about anymore? <laughs> okay, so micro videos. So we do a lot of these kinds of videos in our business. It's kind of shooting quick videos and sending them off to people to try to get them to take some sort of action. But we have a problem. What's the problem? We just talked about it earlier, but I think it was in the outro actually, but uh, we don't really have a system. For, I mean, we have a system, but it's not a, it's not what our guest today is lining out for us with these micro videos. There's a structure and there's what? 33 micro videos. Mm -hmm. uh, we cover three of them, three, four, a lot of them. Basically it's like the structure of how to do this and when to do it and who to send it to. And yeah, these micro videos basically get the attention, get you leads and get you conversions. Yes. And a lot more in between. Too. Yes. And uh, Avi's going to break down a framework and process and even actually kind of give an example of one of the videos in the episode itself. He sh literally shot a video in real time yeah, yes. doing this, breaking so, it down. So you'll you'll hear that. Um, Avi's got uh, 126,500 people, uh, like customers who have gone through his program. <laughs> he's got 94,000 followers on Instagram. He's just got, he's, he's built this massive following and he's done it in a fairly short time using these micro video concepts. So... Uh, Pay attention, because what he's doing is freaking working. Well, Avi Arya, I don't think we mentioned his last name. No. Just, <laughs> that's what I was pointing at your <laughs> Oh, I didn't know what that was. But okay. <laughs> yeah, but Avi, uh, his story is just so damn cool, too. Yeah. So uh, that's how we start off, is just like, you'll hear the way he tells his story in long form, but also short form. A lot to learn with that as well. Mm -hmm. So um, I think what I was trying to lead at is like there's structure here that Avi is going to share with us in systems where we have been doing micro videos successfully and people love them, but we have been leaving a lot on the table. So yes. in this episode, you are going to learn a lot of the gaps that we have now filled. Yes. And uh, you're going to love it. So yep. a lot of actionable stuff. Make sure to get the episode action guides yep. and be quick. You have two weeks to do that. If you go to flowchartgroup.com, just Pause this right now. Just go to flowchartgroup.com, plug in your email address within two weeks, and we'll send you the action guide cliff notes of this episode. And you will want them for sure. Yes. So go do that. Let's go talk to Avi. Let's do it. All right, Avi. We are live. It's great to have you here, my friend. Great to be here. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. Well, yeah. you you approached us in a very unique and amazing and genuine way, and you are a genuine listener too. <laughs> like you, you you've told us all the the long walks you do with uh, your six dogs, right? Is that what it is? Yes. Nice. I have see, I have four dogs over here, two in India, and uh -huh. uh, but as a neighborhood, we sort of take each other's dogs for walks. So yeah, yeah that time I was walking six dogs when I was listening to your stuff. <laughs> right. uh, capture, capture that picture whenever you can. No rush on it, but that'd be cool. <laughs> so do you have a place in India or do you kind of split time between India and, and Canada? Before COVID, I was coming back to Vancouver six times a year, uh, back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I was doing that for the last 10, 10 years. But after COVID, thankfully, uh, I'm now here stationed in Vancouver, Canada. And yes, we have a home over there. The offices are there. The teams are there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Very I'm cool. working on India time most of the time. So that's why the late nights then we were, we were pre-chatting yeah. pre a little bit. I was assuming that would have been the case. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, um, well, we'll jump into some of these uh, these pre-chats we had, but tell us your background because it's very interesting. You know, the I, I love the fact that you have this dialed in too. It's kind of like your, your line, but you know, it's uh, it's the race car, you know, uh, uh, you say it. I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so... On the 29th of October, uh, I turned 44. But uh, I want to take you back when I was 18. Mm. Born and brought up in New Delhi, India. All I wanted to do in life was to race street cars. Mm. And uh, my dad used to go to sleep. And from under his pillow, I used to take his car, steal his car keys, race with people. And I was like, this is good. I'm good at it. And I can make money. We used to bet on the side, make some money. Mm -hmm. And in my 18-year-old head, I knew exactly what I wanted to do in life. And I was like, I'm going to become a streetcar racer and go to UK. I wanted to go to the UK for some reason, meet a lot of people, race cars. One day, everything came shattering down when my dad called me to his office. He said, son, sit down. I have, an op I have two options for you. 
he told me that he's lost a lot of money in his business and he had a family separation we had to leave the family house and get into a rented house and he said i cannot support your overseas education so no no way you're going overseas and as the eldest son in the family you need to join the family business uh, from tomorrow morning mm, wow. and if you refuse then you know pretty much you're on your own <laughs> mm, wow so i think in hindsight he could have put it better but this is how <laughs> he did and uh, so i think better sense prevailed uh the very next morning i found myself behind the reception of my dad's small 27 room motel mm. i learned housekeeping i learned how to take care of the restaurant but i also learned that my dad is doing a fantastic job of running his place mm. where do i as a young man find my place under the sun just during that time we had a, a foreign tourist who walked in and he paid us in dutch guilders which was the currency of holland before the euros came in mm. i converted the money it turned out to be double indian rupees mm. and i'm thinking to myself if an international tourist can pay us double the money for the same room why don't we get all 27 rooms filled up with foreign tourists mm. but the problem was how during that time there was a phenomena called the internet which was allowing you to connect with people around the world but in delhi there were only two places the british school library and the sheraton hotel which had the internet and both of them had very you know it was 900 rupees for half an hour which was prohibitively expensive mm. so i didn't know what to do so i said let's uh, uh you know let, let's you know let's start researching after about few months of researching i there was an ad in the paper satyam computers looking for cyber cafe partners mm. i immediately approached the person uh, rohit and rohit is still a friend of mine after 20 plus years because wow. i was one of the first people to approach him we got a cyber cafe in my dad's hotel and now i had 24 hour access to the slowest internet on the planet <laughs> i was researching i was doing everything the websites would take ages to open but the chats would open up fast i would talk to people on chat somebody said develop a website somebody said do some articles blog writing put some toll free numbers so that people in the western world can trust in indian companies we have toll free numbers from our countries whatever they said i started doing 6 to 8 months we hired somebody somewhere freelancers got some website done we were one of the first if not the first ever budget hotel uh, company in the country to go live early 2000 nobody was doing it oh. and uh, then we put an email address to it people started emailing it was my first interaction with electronic mail i, would, I didn't even know there were human beings on the other side <laughs> on the 15th of december around the 15th or 17th of december of that year the first international tourist walked in to our um, uh, they came in i went to the airport to pick them up and i got them back checked them into room 302 they paid me 400 dollars for a 12 day stay at our place uh -huh. and i came and gave that money to my cashier and i remember asking myself i'm like this bloody internet thing works <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and after that there was no looking back uh Yeah, we had so much business coming in as early movers, like way early. My first book is called "The Accidental First Mover," mm. and so we, after two years, we bought a small twenty-seven, twenty-five room motel next door. Then another twenty, twenty-three room motel. So small boutique properties, but we bought four in the next five years. So essentially, my dad took forty years to build his first property, and after we discovered the internet in the next five years, we built four more. Oh wow! So, so he he was, very much yeah. liked you being a part of the company. Like. <laughs> he enjoyed you yes. being there working with him. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, and so that's why I said, you know, everything changed after that. But the gentleman who wanted to throw me out of the house was now having strategy discussions with me mm -hmm. on what we should be doing next. So that was stage one. Stage two was I started understanding how websites rank and everything. I understood that I have four hotels full of foreign tourists. They're all looking at traveling to India. So I started talking about travel in my other websites. I got carried away. I booked hundreds of domains, built sixty, seventy websites. All of them flopped. Four websites did very well, and. uh one day i got a call from the indian equivalent of expedia mm -hmm. and they said we love the traffic on your site would you like to do an affiliate model with us i didn't want to sound like a fool on the phone and tell them i have no idea what an affiliate model means i told them i'm busy in a meeting and can you they send me an email mm. on that email they told me they'd give me 10 dollars for the conversion of every ticket if i trans if i direct the traffic to their website and all of that i still didn't understand what they meant but i did what they told me Finally, I got. Uh, uh, we did that, and uh, after a few months, we started doing some hundred tickets a day, which was not a lot, but it still meant a thousand dollars net That's profit yeah. every single day in two thousand five. So, riding high on the confidence on, of these two successes, uh, you know, I was looking around to do more stuff. That's when TripAdvisor, Facebook, Google, many of these companies started coming into India, and the aim of these large companies was to get a hold of small businesses. 
uh, to adopt internet marketing. Mm. So they saw my story and they asked me, some of them came to me and said, would you like to evangelize, you know, and, you know, sort of speak. Yeah. As you can see in our last 10 minutes of conversation, you know, I, I don't miss an opportunity to speak. I love to talk. <laughs> I love it. So yeah. I, I said, yes, let's do it. So they took me on stages around the world where I went and shared with people this very story of mine. People liked the story and said, hey, can you do it for us? Initially, I was like, no, I, I do it for my own family business. How can I do it for you? I'm not an agency. I don't even know how an agency mm -hmm. works. I was an 18-year-old guy who was wanting to become a streetcar racer, got into the hotel business. I don't know how to do this for anybody else. Mm -hmm. But after like one year of all of this, I thought it's time to branch out on my own. So in 2009, uh, August 15, 2009, we uh, branched off and I started a company with a four-member team, completely bootstrapped. We called it the Internet uh, moguls and yeah. uh, today after uh, 11 years we grew from four four to 225 people working with 700 clients in 10 countries wow <laughs> yeah yeah so that's it's been a it's been a wild ride and yeah. uh, it's lots of ups and downs lots of things that didn't work behind the scenes but this is sort of the bright side of the story that is amazing no i love that and um <laughs> How's the, are you associated with the hotel business at all anymore or? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We still uh, own and operate the hotels in India yeah. and I work with my dad on, in that capacity, but my major focus is, has been running the agency, but uh, this whole story that I told you in the last 10 minutes, I have a 10 second version of this as well. Mm -hmm. Give that to us because I'm, I'm actually very curious. Yeah, you do that. Let's do <laughs> My name is Avi Arya, father of two girls, six dogs, husband to a superwoman, a streetcar racer turned hotelier, now social media marketer and founder of Internet Moguls. <laughs> so, you know, so whenever I told people the long form story and the short form story, I, about three years back, I felt slightly not so genuine when I said that because mm. I'm talking about my girls, my wife and my dogs, but they were not existent in my life. I'm traveling all over the world, having lots of fun, making lots of money, but I'm away from my family. So yeah. I didn't like that at all. And I wanted to change that when my girls were going for school plays and everything without me. I didn't want to be the, you know, the distant father. My parents were always close to me. I never wanted to be a father like that. Mm. But I couldn't help myself because I had a large company to run and I, my family was here in Vancouver. So I didn't know what to do. And uh, my biggest mentors, guides, friends, everybody, they, nobody said, you have to either get rid of internet moguls. I've never said this on any other show, but mm -hmm. everybody said either get rid of internet moguls or, you know, or, or your family at stake. And I said, why can't an entrepreneur have it all? I mean, this yeah. is also my fourth kid. This is my fourth member of my family. I love it as much. I mean, I'm sorry, but I do love my company as much as I love my family. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for two, three years, I didn't know what to do because there was so much work coming in and I was... And I was like, okay, maybe when my girls are 10, maybe when they're 11, maybe when they're 12. And then I said, you know, one day I got very frustrated. I came back to the office and I told one of my, asked one of my senior people, how many clients do we have? He said, 711 or so. So I sent an email to everybody, a common drafted email saying, I want to spend more time. I want to do this and this, and this is where the company is going. Where uh, an average person in India takes about two to three hours in traffic going in, back and forth to work. Wow. And uh, 15 hours a week, 60 a month, 720 a year. In a lifetime, they're spending about two, three years in traffic. Ugh. We want to pour that back into people's lives. So can you, can we start sending you videos and meet on Zoom calls and all of that? Three About three years ago or three and a half. And maybe maybe 10 percent of them even replied to those emails and maybe one or two said yes okay and we also gave a five percent off he said we'll give you a five percent discount in your yearly retainer if you agree to this mm. we'll save time and you save money but then i was adamant so we made three zoom rooms in the office i trained my team i said nobody's going out a lot of sales people wanted to go out because that's how sales happens yeah. you go out have a beer and everything they didn't like it but for most for the most part i was very rigid i said we have to do this and leave the office on time go back to your family and i and allow me to go back to my family as well this is too much this guys i've been working for 11 years many of you have joined the company recently this is no way to run a you know life or a company and just let's just save time yeah. to save time i realized to do anything i needed videos videos to get known in the marketplace videos to get leads and videos to get sales mm. so i said let me do all three things on video so i started doing videos on instagram youtube all of that interviewing people whatever for me to get known mm. then videos on funnels on facebook with instagram all of that so that i get leads and then video one-on-one -on -one videos to get sales mm. it was ridiculous people laughed and the biggest companies they didn't even show up when they booked a call with me on video wow. because they thought i was arrogant and i did not have the time to go and meet them and when I would call them later and say, I'm seriously trying to do something to save time to be able to give back to my family and go back there. I was like, no, you can make a flight to Mumbai or Bangalore or whatever. You know, I, I, we've seen you've done it in the past. So it was very difficult initially. And uh, 
But in the last three years, we were able to do about 20, 25% of work online. And when COVID happened, everything changed. I was going to say, was, like, <laughs> yes, it was forced to change. I was, I was working with multiple speaking bureaus and they used to, you know, book my speaking appointments. And one of them came up to me and said, you know, what, what have you been doing? I said, you know, I, this is what I'm doing. This is my personal life. They said, great, put it into a system and let's create a workshop because that's what they like, mm-hmm. systematizing everything. I said, I don't have a system. They said, no, let's create a system and tell people what you're doing. So I created a system called the Micro Video Mastery System, the 33 videos that every entrepreneur needs to get known, get leads, get sales, and spend all the extra time with their family or doing following their passions. Nice. Created a system, created a book, created a one-day, then a two-day, then a three-day workshop. And gentlemen, that just took off. That completely took off. And I was invited all over the world to give these workshops. And so what I found myself was in a predicament. Now that I've created a system to save time, people want me to travel to deliver these talks now. So I'm getting busier than ever. I'm like, hang on, I can't get sucked into this. So the only next thing was to do webinars. So just before uh, the pandemic hit, I started doing webinars every Monday night. We would have four to 500 people coming in. I would teach them and then do a webinar, sell up a $150, $200 course at the end and just see how warming up to webinars and reaching out to people. And then I used to do three videos a day, 15 a week on -on one-on-one approaching calls like I did with you gentlemen Mm -hmm. for for business and opportunity. When COVID happened, we all were scared. Nobody knew what was going to happen. And we had to send about 200 people to different parts of India to their homes with computers and everything set up in their homes. So it was a mammoth exercise to get everybody home safe and technically ready to be able to continue work. I remember coming back home that day, I think last year, or last two, yeah, a year uh, and a half. And I came back and I was I was scared. And as a leader, I couldn't say it, but I was worried. I didn't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So I said, I came back home at 4.35 in the evening and I said, let's do a webinar today. My team said, we've not made any announcements. We won't be able to get as many people. I said, that's okay. I'll talk to whoever. I need to talk. My family is here in Vancouver. I'm alone over there. I just need to talk. And people are scared as well. So let's just talk to people. 6.30, I did a webinar. About 500 people showed up without any advertising. So I just knew that everybody is home and people want to listen to stuff happening. And that day we sold courses even without a plan for worth about twenty thousand dollars just that night (laughs) and i was like i was like the time that i was waiting for has come and so we said micro video mastery videos for every entrepreneur who's a family person wants to claim back life from everything else that they're doing unnecessarily you can do it from videos from any location in the world staying close to your family or close to your passion micro video mastery get known get leads get sales and that's when we started so in the last year, we had about 126,500 people go through our program. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And about 8,100 people signed up for the program and, you know, went through the thing. Yeah. So we created a school called the Internet Moguls of the World. Internet Mogul is somebody who uh, leverages the internet to grow their business and spend time with their family. So that's been the mission. That's what we've been on. Oh, that's a hell of a mission. I love it. And more so now than ever, you know, I think like with the pandemic, you know, we've all realized how important that is. It can be difficult, of course, you know, with that transition, but man, yeah, I I feel like you hit it all at the right timing and your vision for yourself is, I mean, I think a lot of folks can connect with that, you know, this is actually the first time like so the office we're in now the studio is outside of our houses but you know we're not like traveling we're not flying on a plane or anything but but still it's like it's a different scenario now we're not at home with our dogs or with our kids and wives so it's like but yeah i mean there's a lot of folks that are probably just unnecessarily doing so much yeah including us probably (laughs) you know and so how do you I'm curious, like, do you, do you ever audit yourself or like, how do you coach people through the things that maybe they, they're doing that they can use micro videos for? So, yeah. So we have a format called the super week, super month and super year. And, uh, we audit people, how they are spending their lives. And we try to take out at least three hours, uh, two to three hours. It's very easy to find two to three hours a day where people are like, Hey, somebody else could be either doing this for me, mm-hmm. or I didn't need to actually get dressed, wear a suit, go in for a meeting, yeah. have a coffee on the way, you know, exchange pleasantries that maybe I could have done without, and then come back and say, you know what? Hey wife, I went for a meeting today and it was tiring and, you know, Hopefully, I'll get that contract. And you don't get a contract by going for one meeting. Right. You know, there's a there's a business equation. You do ten meetings, maybe you get one. How do you do ten meetings when you have to take two three hours to do one? So people's success and their promises to their families 
are 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 not met when they are inefficient in that in that respect. I was that person. I was taking so many flights, yeah. and I had a huge huge. I was I was displaying it proudly. Now I say foolishly, but proudly in my office there was a big. Uh, big uh, bo- uh, soft board which had all my uh, 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 boarding cards from all the flights <laughs> i would take in a year oh man and i took i would take 52 flights a year and uh, so i was i put hundreds of uh, this thing and i said see look at my this is how i how, this is how and the thing was this is how you build a company yeah. now i say this is foolish this is not how you build a company. <laughs> <laughs> it's true man because yeah we have the tech to do it now i feel like people are um, you'd probably be better to speak at it, but I feel like companies are more open to it now for virtual meetings, obviously Zoom calls and, you know, maybe quick videos here and there for outreach and like you did for us. Like, I would much rather see a video from someone like yourself rather than the of the 30 email pluses that we get per day, <laughs> uh, you know, that are all written and not personalized. <laughs> so there's there's so much power there. Well, there's, there are, there's mixed opinion. There are people who want to meet just because they feel they can trust people more Mm. but the thing is i feel as an entrepreneur you need to decide what is priority for you it's very easy to say you know what this seems like a big deal i must fly fly to you know to to dallas or Mm -hmm. to florida or whatever this could be a big deal yes all the deals could be profitable and big but the thing is they all come at the cost of something I'm going to do an amazing podcast with all of you guys. Be grateful for it, and then go back and prepare for my workshop, and then take my dogs for a walk. And you know, mm-hmm. if we to, if we had to meet, I would love to meet when we are in the same city. But if we had to meet, I would take a flight, come back, and maybe maybe three years back, I would do that. If you invited me on your podcast, I especially would be one guy. So I would fly down and document the whole journey, yeah. take videos and all of that. Yeah. Come back and love it, and that might be one of the best episodes on my show that I doc the what I documented about meeting you guys. Mm-hmm. But then that would have definitely taken three days away from my wife and kids. Right. So, you know, you have. I think you have to put your foot down and say, you know what? I'll give you this. I'll give you stellar service, but I do it only on video. You have mm. to. You have to tell people that this is how I do my business, mm. and then people get open to it. And if they don't, that's too bad. That's okay. Yeah. There's more people. Hundred <laughs> percent. Always yeah. more people. Yeah. I want to. I want to go back to something that you said real quick, and then and then after this, I want to really dive deep on like some of the video sort of techniques that you use. Mm. But you mentioned that you had 126,500 people go through your program. How, where did all that volume come from? Was that through advertising? No, we said or? no paid traffic, right? Oh, no, no. So it was paid traffic. Oh, that was. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was all webinars. So Facebook ads. Uh-huh. So, so, all face, so 126,500 through Facebook ads to a webinar. Yes. Wow. So uh, in one year, in about 300. So, so we did almost about. So I'll tell you how this, I'll tell you how the whole process went. Mm-hmm. So, so I told you about that one night when I went home and, and I'm like, wow, $20,000 mm-hmm. in sales and we didn't even do much. That's when I, you know, I told my team, I said, we, we have to do webinars. So we started doing a webinar a day and there were times I was doing three webinars a day. Uh, so like a 220 minute webinar in the morning, afternoon, evening, then I would do webinars with other guests, just like yours, you know, people mm-hmm. bring in, people would bring me on their shows and I would, you know, split whatever money we were making because they were getting the audiences on all that. 90% of it came from Facebook ads because what happened was nobody knew what's going to happen to the pandemic. So I, I'm assuming all the advertisers, travel or advertisers, all the cruise liners, airlines, tour companies stopped advertising with Facebook. Mm-hmm. So the Facebook revenue dropped. And so it was so easy. I, for me, one registrant, which is normally five to six dollars, one attendee, not a registrant yeah. to an attendee, but one attendee, wow. a regi- attendee, was uh, during was ninety cents. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. So I was like, I told my team, I said, we're never going to get this. We don't. We oh, we hope we don't get this opportunity again. Right. Yeah. So let's make the most of it. So we did. We did. 75 webinars in 75 days and so that was our first run and then we took a break and then we did again and now i'm like i can't do it every day it's getting (laughs) tiring so now i'm doing weekday workshops Mm. so friday saturday sunday and i know like i said i invite both of you to come in one is happening tonight they're going to be a minimum of a thousand people and they're going to work with us till monday morning three days nine modules everybody's going to create nine video nine different types of videos each three to get known three to get leads three to get sales by monday morning we we tell them you've taken off your brand is now known by people you start getting leads and whatever and this workshop is one dollar it's just a dollar for the workshop wow. and then at the end uh we do a follow-up workshop the very next week uh for all the people who got results we want to come back 
Only if you're happy, you come back. So out of the thousand people, about five fifty, six hundred come back, and then we tell them this is what we have to offer, and then they get into our program. Yeah. Well, I love the fact that you. It's a dollar, so you're getting buyers, but it's such a low barrier entry. Exactly. How how exactly. many? Uh, and, and of course, you know, there's they trust you after that. You're you're creating a transformation throughout that workshop because they're completing videos probably they've never done before too and seeing themselves in a different light. 100%. So, yeah, I'm curious though, like how do you fill it up? Because you said at least a thousand people on this and you're doing this weekly. Is this now because yeah. of your email list or are you still running traffic with Facebook? Facebook ads. Still? Facebook ads. Okay. Yeah. So I've got about 94,000 people on my Instagram. So that helps me every time. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, so I get about 300 people organically yeah. from Instagram. About 100, 150, 200 from uh, from an email. I don't I don't exploit my email list. I could, but I don't want to do yeah. that more than a. So about 100, 150 from there, and 500 from Facebook ads. Got it. That's yeah. that's amazing, man. <laughs> well, um, how, actually, just before we go further, how can people join one of those future ones if you're doing them by the time we <laughs> release this well, episode? Well, the best way to get in touch with me or see what's happening is Instagram, and my Instagram uh, profile is Ask Aviaria, A S K A V I A R Y A. All the all the magic is happening there. Sweet. Cool. We'll make sure cool. to link that up in the show notes. So anybody listening, it'll be there should Perfect. be a link somewhere. Cool. Well, well I want to I want to dig in some videos. Yeah, yes, because exactly. these micro videos. I, I feel like we've we've we harness videos in a lot of different ways. Obviously, we're doing a video here, but we've done a lot of Loom videos for you know all the way from like you said outreach. There's uh, we've sold a lot of affiliate products with Loom videos. Like so, it's kind of a customer servicey thing, but it's sales and it works great. Sure. Always wows people, and then customer retention. I don't think that was something you were saying on the three but like we've done that a lot where you know bonjoro type videos or looms there's all these things but mm -hmm. yeah walk us through some of you know you have the kind of the attraction the leads sure. and conversion it seems like right so. yeah so this is what this is what i believe i say i you know me and my daughters i've got two daughters uh 15 and 11 and we've been doing entrepreneurship with them you know we mm. They went and met Gary Vee, Grant Cardone, John Lee Dumas, all of them. My daughters went and interviewed all of these people. I'm training oh, wow. them to be entrepreneurs. That's so so, cool. so what, we watched a lot of Shark Tank together. And the one thing I was teaching my kids about a year and a half ago was, what is the common trait that gets everybody funded? You know, mm -hmm. So we like, there are three questions that they ask. How are you going to get known? How are you going to take the brand out there? How, what is your source of leads? How do you get leads? And how are you going to get sales? Mm -hmm. And if somebody successfully answers these three questions, you know, he hits the jackpot. Mm -hmm. So eventually that's what a business equation comes down to. So just say if you're somebody is a coach, say a real estate coach, he says, I said, what is your get sales? He says, I need 10 sales a month. Uh, how much is 10 sales? A thousand a piece, 10,000. Great. How many leads do you need to get those 10,000? Well, I have a conversion ratio of 10%. So I need a, uh, I need 100 leads. Great. So get leads is 100. How many people in the market need to know who you are before you get those leads? Because we don't want cold leads. We want leads from people who have already seen your brand, seen your videos. He said at least 1,000 people. So 30 new people get to know me. So 1,000, 100, and 10. That is your business equation. Everybody has a different business equation based on their con conversion rate and everything. Once you have that dialed in, that's when you say, how should I get this now? So easiest way to get a thousand people to get to know you is videos. So we create videos for you share your stories on how you can get known in the marketplace. And then you create videos to uh, get uh, leads from the marketplace in terms of in, in, in uh, like a YouTube video or a funnel on Facebook or a funnel on Instagram or LinkedIn or Quora ads. I love Quora ads mm -hmm. as well, all those kinds of ads. And then for sales, it's a one-on-one -on -one video. So what we do is, and that's how we what we teach in our programs as well, we make a list of your uh, top 10 for the week. These are the top 10 people I really need to get in touch with mm -hmm. uh, for sales. And so it could be the marketing manager of a company or the purchase manager or whoever. So, and there's a format. And uh, if you want, I can run you through the format. It's please, a, yes, please. Yeah, if you don't mind. We, we call it the four minute, four second, close any deal uh, method. Sounds so. Good. We say, for example, let's say, uh, so, you know, I, I say you don't need anything. All you need is a phone. So I just almost started. <laughs> yeah. So I just get into the mode. <laughs> so you guys are hoteliers and you own a very large hotel and say, uh, so I say, Joe, you're a hotelier and, uh, you know, Avi Arya is a, is a digital market and I want to get in touch with you. And so, you know, I do a little bit of a background check. The first thing is to create repo and like that. So I'm mm -hmm. like, fine. It's a four minute video. So I start like this. 
Hi, Joe. Uh, this is Avi Arya. I hope you're doing well. By the way, great work on the new studio. I saw the video of how, how you built it. Really good friend. By the way, the, uh, the gentleman who you bought all the mics from, uh, that uh, Matt, he's a good friend of mine. He's a great techie. Great choice on uh, hiring the right professionals to go do the video. So, uh, by the way, quick introduction. My name is Avi Arya, father of two girls, six dogs, husband to a superwoman, a streetcar racer turned hotelier, now social media marketer and founder of Internet Moguls. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Joe, I, a small request. Please watch this video till the very end because at this end of this video, I'll tell you how your hotel, uh, the Hustle and Flow Hotel, will uh, be uh, able to get 30% extra revenue in less than three months by, fo uh, by following the formula that I'm going to teach you. Four minutes. Please watch till the very end. Joe, I noticed you have a 100-room hotel and 50% of your business comes from third parties and you pay them 40% commission. What if I showed you a Google AdWords strategy where you would get customers directly coming to your website at 10%, thereby saving you 30% cost? Second, I also saw that you have a great restaurant and that restaurant uh, does very well on, Mon on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not so, not so good. What if I showed you a Facebook ad strategy where we do a Facebook ad campaign for people in the five kilometer radius, a, a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a happy hour uh, meal uh, coupons will be given to them. They'll come and redeem those coupons. We are running those ads. So you'll know the business is coming from us. And with this strategy, we'll take care of your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Third, I also see you have a beautiful banquet where you have lots of office conferences happening. But when I went to your website, I saw that people have to come for the, to, the web, uh, to the website and somebody will get back to them. Well, instead of that, what if I ran a, a LinkedIn ad campaign to the, all the corporations like Nike, Gillette, all the corporations in the 10 kilometer radius of your hotel so that they see the ad, they get in touch with us. Hey, Joe, you and I both know if a customer gets in touch with us versus we getting in touch with a customer, the sales are much faster, sales cycle is shorter. We do that and we get you more more of those banquet queries. And we all know even if you get one extra banquet query from that the end, and you get one extra office conference, the entire profitability for the whole month changes. So that's how we will take care of your rooms, your F&B and your banquet facilities. And uh, by the way, uh, this might be a new video to you, but I've known you and I've watched your journey from afar. Many people in your industry, like Mr. X from this hotel, Mr. Y from the Hilton and Z from Marriott has been our customers. I'm putting in links to see what uh, you can see the work we've done for them. Now, Joe, I'm almost coming to the end of my four minute video. Thank you very much for your patience. Um, it, I'm asking you for one thing and one thing only. If you thought that we can add value to you and give you more than 30% uh, in the next three months by following the strategy that we mentioned, all you need to do is book a call. There's a link over here. With, uh, it book takes you to calendar D, book a time and date of your convenience, and it's a 30-minute call. What happens here? A 30-minute th call, and we're going to teach you three things. We're going to show you what your competitors are doing. We're going to show you what you are not doing, and we're going to show you how you can reach where you can, where your ultimate potential in the next three months to be able to save you 30% cost or increase your profitability by 30 minutes, as I promised you in the beginning of my four, minute, four minutes, which are now almost over. Thank you very much for your time. Once again, this is Avi Arya, father of two girls, six dogs, husband to a superwoman, streetcar racer turned hotelier, now social media marketer and founder of Internet Mogul, signing off for now. That's it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's, so, wow. Personalized, <laughs> personalized video pitches like this. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to you know understand the brand, what you can give to them, because mostly we whatever services entrepreneurs are doing, they do it every day. So they know, they know what to give. Mm. The only thing is they need to see how to put it in perspective, in context to the person that they're approaching. And that's yeah. it. So we tell people three videos a day, 15 a week, 60 a month, five day working week, three videos. One video takes four to five minutes to wait, maybe 20 minutes of research. So one hour for outreach mm. on videos for sales and 20 minutes every, uh, on outreach for uh, getting known. Like I, I, I re reached out to you people. So that's a yeah. get known video. Yep. And then a get lead video is for my new workshops or whatever is coming. My team tells me this is the concept. This is what we're doing. And I create Instagram videos, Facebook videos, all the short videos. So I spend about two hours on videos a day or I spend about six hours at the end of the week, depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't want to do work every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you know, as an entrepreneur, that's the freedom you have. That's right. So about six hours a week and, most of your work is done and then you're just waiting for the responses to come in from people and you're just sort of i don't think you have to work you know uh much more than this yeah on uh, on my on get known get leads and get sales yeah now with the, the video that you just shot can you sort of break that down for us because it seemed like you it, it was very formulaic you had a flow yes. you had your kind of intro yes. you had the end where you repeated right. the who you were mm. like wh right. what's the sort of breakdown of that video sure sure absolutely so the opening is, uh, you start with your hero introduction. We call this the hero introduction. Mm -hmm. uh, where you talk about yourself and your family and everything. Op open with the hero introduction. Uh, give them the promise, you know, in 
uh, watch this video till the very end, 30 minutes. Uh, I'll teach you how to grow your business by 30% in the next three months. Uh, tell them the three things that you know you can do for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, show them testimonials, give them a call to action, and give the hero introduction again and close. There's so much to unpack there. And uh, yeah, it, because you're you're hitting on the psychological factors, you're, you're bonding with them during a sales video. And you know, because this is the, an initial outreach. So, you know, yeah. you're, that, it's just really cool because yeah, you're capturing all of those. They're seeing you as a human. You, you're you obviously very visible as a human on video too. So you're getting that personal connection. They've probably never seen something like that before. But with a formula, you're giving them a contained time to expect you know this message to be delivered and obviously um, how you're gonna do that as well and how other people are. I like the fact, oh, I'm gonna show you what your competitors are doing. It's like, uh-huh, right. that, would, that would get my attention if I was a because, hotel exactly, down the street. Because why would somebody say no for a 30 minute call when for I sure. can unpack what somebody else is doing that you can take away, mm-hmm. take from. Yeah. So so yeah, so, but we, we, we have a 50% uh, sort of a, acceptance to this okay so yeah it's still not 100 percent, but 50 percent. people it's huge 50 percent people That's say yeah, let's get on a call yeah so yeah. for the um so for folks are you are you teaching uh, like for the outreach to get these these names is there a, a method to identify who are the folks you should be outreaching to right so what we so so first we when we when we work with our entrepreneurs we teach them so for the get known videos right who do you want should we get, you know? Yeah. So people are like, hey, I want to get on the Gary Vee podcast or whatever. I said, do you even know Gary Vee or do you like him? Uh, not so much. If you do, sure, reach out to him. If you don't, then it's best to reach out to people who you really are fans of. Mm. You know, don't just get into a podcast for for the heck of getting into a podcast. It just it just doesn't gel. You know, no. you waste up yeah. too much time. The energies don't happen. So if you're really a fan, do it. If not, at best, they'll say, I get so many emails from people saying, hey, thank you very much for watching this. Love the video. This is not the right time. And mm-hmm. I just get, I, I have a fanboy moment saying, hey, you know what? That guy knows I exist and yeah. he saw my video and all of that. And they come and like my post on Instagram or something <laughs> like that. And I made a connection. I, you know, I got known by at least those two people who didn't know me earlier on. So that's, that's what, uh, so reach out to the podcasters and the YouTubers who you genuinely are fond of. And those people whose message will go to the audience that can be a prospective customer. Mm, yeah. Both things have to make sense. That does make yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. And like, uh, I love talking about race cars, but I don't want to go on a race car port, uh, podcast because that's not, that business doesn't, tra- that doesn't translate into, uh, you know, business for me. It's not, it's not, it's not my brand. Yeah. No, that makes perfect sense. Now yeah. on the, uh, like on the, I guess on the Instagram side of things, I think you said you have about 94,000 uh, followers. Yeah. Is that as a, a direct correlation to like the Facebook ads or were you doing something else to get the followers over there? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I had about 37,000 or something, maybe around 37 before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And so every time I do a webinar, then a thousand people, I tell them at the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you a free P- ebook or a PDF or something. Uh, all you need to do is follow me here and at the end, tag me on something. Uh... So out of the thousand, I get about six, seven hundred followers right there. <laughs> so I built it over the last one year with people. And now these are not people who don't know me. These are people who then after that hear me for at least two hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you have the bond. Can, I mean, that's why I love this thing is you're starting out on the right foot with the video. And obviously, I'm sure Facebook ads, you have a whole video structure there, too. You know, um, I don't know. Maybe you could share that as well. I don't know. Of if it's any, Is it any different than... Then we so, gave. you know, so uh, before that, I'd just like to say, uh-huh. I say webinars, are, you know, I say micro videos are everything in 2021. Yeah. But I say webinars are the superpower of the 21st century. It allows you to stay home, allows you to do business from anywhere. It seems like a normal thing. It's a seminar, it's a webinar. So yeah. what? But yeah. no, you can stay in one place, speak to thousands of people. Thousands. My biggest webinar is going to happen on the 29th of October, which is my birthday. We're going to call for calling 5,000 people. Wow. Now, and the biggest webinar I did last year was 3,000 odd people. Now, when I was doing that webinar, I was 3,000 human beings are listening to my message. I'm wow. sitting at home in my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. I mean, if this is not magic, I mean, I don't know what magic we're waiting for. We're already in the future, guys. <laughs> and, I, and I keep telling people, I said, we have to realize that this opportunity is going to get expensive. Yeah. It's going to, the craft, you'll have to become way more skilled at your product, your offering and everything because Facebook is going to, everybody wants to do webinars mm. and everybody's going to sort of, the price is going to go up and everything. So dial in on videos. If your videos are already get known, videos are doing well. Lots of our customers come in and say, 
I'm not getting the kind of conversion that I used to. I'm like, you don't, you're going straight to the market without doing the get known videos. Mm. Do the get known videos and then do the get sales and, you know, and then you can go directly to the market, but it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's, and then none of that bond is happening. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's exactly. Yeah. The webinars, I feel like that is where the folks are doing the bonding, but there's all these steps prior to that. And there's this commitment exactly. level of a webinar, you know, before anything that's happening prior to that with the get known videos. So exactly. Are they get known videos? Exactly. So that would be like a Facebook ad then, right? You would, would so you get known videos are Facebook ads, Instagram posts, YouTube videos, mm. uh, uh, for your own channels. And, uh, then partner get known ads are when you reach out to other people to say, Hey, feature my story on your show. And then you get known through videos that you're doing with them. Yeah. Uh, or, or when you're borrowing authority, like, you know, where I did an interview with Gary V and I did another one with him and then I wanted another one with him Then I did so many with, you know, other people like Grant Cardone and all. So every time I do a get known video and I'm borrowing somebody's authority, it, uh, you know, those get known videos have a much higher weightage in my, uh, and I always say, I said, doesn't, it should not, it doesn't take for you. Success for everybody is different. Some people want a million, some people want a billion, and some people mm. want to always remain in startup mode. It's okay for everyone. But just to get off the ground, especially during these times, if somebody says $10,000 can run my house, this is the best time and the easiest time to make $10,000 a month. Mm. And so get known, get leads, get sales. I mean, I this is what I, I've coined to make it my own. But honestly, I didn't say get known, get leads, get sales. I just say it in a format that it looks like it's my system. <laughs> it's been there forever. Yeah. People first need to get known, then they need to get leads, and then leads, and then sales. So, uh, you know, just going back to the basics and using my own terminology to drive home the message that it's not difficult. You don't need to get out of your home. You don't need to sell your car or your bicycle or whatever. <laughs> Things are tough, I understand, but not very tough. I mean, right. with the internet there. It's, yeah. There's no lockdown over here, luckily. Mm. Yeah. So, so the video that you gave us an example of just a few minutes ago, was that, that was it seemed like maybe an example of like a get leads video for the hotel. Is that kind of what that one was? Yeah. So that's a get sales video. That was a get sales. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a one-on-one -on -one sales uh, uh, talk with a client. So... Uh, are the formulas that you would do on video, are they different for the, you know, the get known and the get leads videos, or is it kind of the same flow for all styles of video? No, they're all very different. So there are 33 different styles. So like I said, mm -hmm. 33 micro videos to That's get true. known, get leads, get sales. And let's go so through all are... of them on this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. So as far as, as far as the get known videos, I think that's the one that I'm the most intrigued with at the moment because yeah. um, that's what you're kind of using on Facebook ads and YouTube ads and or you know just Facebook organic and YouTube organic I'd imagine as well. Um, so what what do those videos look like? What what's the differentiator in those videos from what sure. you kind of broke down already? Sure. So when I speak about get known videos, those are videos that allow me to talk to my audience or prospective customers. A, about who I am as a family person and B, about what they're going through. So you lead with, uh, you lead with uh, I, I always say lead with family and lead, because that's one thing that connects all of us. Right. You meet somebody at an airport, you know, this human beings are wired to do this. You meet a complete stranger, you're like, uh, at an airport, you're like, are you from Canada? Uh, no. Uh, have you, is this your first time in Canada? Uh, yeah. Oh, me too. Uh, did you go to university in UK? Uh, no. Uh, have you ever seen a British movie? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. for, we'll we'll find something to say. Hey, me too. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. that's that's yeah. how we spark off a relationship. And then we say, like, right, that's. Then we say, okay, so what do you do, right? So and then mm -hmm. we say, if we can get a lead from there, say, hey, I, and then may, sometimes it could converge into a business uh, equation. And that's what happens at every single business conference. I did a video on YouTube for business conferences because I used to be a conference junkie. I went for every <laughs> conference. I used to love meeting people. I used to have a race car jacket, internet yeah. moguls, and I'm six feet, two inches. and I'm a big guy. So I used to stand up and say, hey, I have a question. People used to see, hey, who's this guy? And everybody got to know me. So anything to get known, right? So I, I used to yeah. do all of that. But I realized that uh, to get known, you break it down people want to talk about your family and people want to talk about their family or or something that they've been through so i was a street car racer my dad told me to leave the house or whatever my own story which was i was an overweight obese kid and i was bullied and you know later i wanted to get into fighting because just because i wanted to you know sort of mm -hmm. get you know so so and i was very scared of sharing these stories till about seven eight ten years ago mm. and now i'm not because uh a you know as you age you become more confident in your own skin but mm -hmm. I also see that when I do this, I empower and give give permission to a lot of people to say, do what you want to do. Mm. So to the get known videos are, talk about who, what makes you, you. I wanted to be a straight car. I'm not, a lot of people say, hey, that's a cool intro. But I'm saying, you know what? I'm 
I'm a failed street car racer. I wanted to be. I just drove my dad's car. I never got onto street car racing. <laughs> and I said street. You know, I, I was this. this I just a self-proclaimed street car racer. Yeah. So you know, I I'm being vulnerable. I talk about how I got into. I be, I'm, with all humility, I say I'm India's highest-paid social media speaker. And I and I was I used to stammer, and my my mom sent me for my first speech, and she said she said I'll write the speech for you. She wrote a twenty-page speech wow. on something which she was passionate about, and I had to read it because I'm the good boy and the eldest son in the house and all of that. <laughs> and I did read read it, and that day my entire school and my best of friends they 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 laughed and then they cried because the speech was so long. But that day something broke inside of me, which was not my my confidence, but it was my fear. It didn't break. She didn't shatter, but it started breaking, and I was like, "This is the worst that can happen." Yeah. And from there, I just wanted to be on stage more and more and more. So, but I could never tell. I used to start this story by saying my mom sent me for speeches, and then I now I did this. I never said that I used to stammer, and I never used to say that I was overweight. Now I say it. I was overweight, and I was do. I used to do this. So whatever you share about yourselves, other people are like, "Hey, you know what? He's giving me permission to share this about myself as well." Mm-hmm. And people. Only want to listen to stories. The yeah. shortest distance between two human hearts is always a story. Your get known videos has to be about your story, and then related to how you can show other people a way out of their pain. Mm. And that's all they want to hear. And after that, a Lamborghini and all of that is to catch attention. Yes, it does. Mm. But but people want to talk about pain. So that's a get known video. A get leads video video is exactly uh, very formatted. Uh, Hi, you probably watching this ad on uh, on on my Instagram landing page. It's a short, and I always give a timeline so people are like, let's see what happens. Yeah. It's a short one minute and sixteen second. Let me know if I go above uh, one hundred and sixty uh, one minute and sixteen second. I say that in the ad. So my name is Avi Arya, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you, by working with me for one dollar for this three day workshop, can know how your business can get known, how your business can get lead three to five leads by the end of the workshop, and get at least one sale in the next thirty days. If not, your money back, your one dollar. <laughs> You can have it back uh, by Monday, and so then I show them to the system and all of that. So get into this workshop; it's one dollar just to see your commitment level. Everything else is free. I do sell at the end of the workshop an amazing course. It's your choice if you want to get it or not. I talk, I, wow. I say that. So you frame like the, that in the first video and everything. That's great. Every time I always say that. Even in the beginning of the webinar, I say I'm going to sell because I'm not shy of selling. My program works; it helps people. So uh, you know, don't give me sack for for selling because you know I'm I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I'm going to teach all of you to do the same thing. Some people don't like it. Say, 40 50 people just turn off right away but you know i feel comfortable them going out throughout the workshop and i sell every day i tell them it's also marketing because i want to prime the audience to be ready with the credit card at the end of day 3 sure yeah i want them to know that there's something coming up it's a $1000 or $1500 offer coming up at the end mm-hmm. they shouldn't be like oh my god i didn't know this is coming up so it's it's all i teach all my i once they sign up and i said guess what i taught you today i taught you how to close 10% on a webinar mm-hmm. <laughs> wow so, yeah, yeah. Sorry, so, I kind of uh, stopped you. There was a little. There was probably some more there. So you tell them that there's going to be an offer. Yes. Yeah. So I tell them there's going to be a, be an offer, and so click in. You get one free PDF. You get three days of my time. You get four. We have five captains and five groups. We all divide you into IPL. IPL is like the the uh, it's like the premium uh, uh, football league, except mm-hmm. it's, it's for cricket. So everybody understands this. So like the IPL format, you get divided into five teams. Every team has four captains. You get through three videos on day one, three on day two, three on day three. After you pay that one dollar, you go and see videos of all those people who've won the uh, IPL trophy, uh, our MVM Micro Video Mastery Trophy in the last few days. You're going to love this. Uh, uh, my dad always says, "The most expensive thing you can ask from people is not their money, but it's their time." Thank mm-hmm. you very much for this one minute and sixteen seconds for giving me your time. Look forward to seeing you in the workshop. So you know, so like that. Wow. I, <laughs> you have it dialed, man. I mean, I don't know what to say, but other than like, it's, I can see why people's attention are staying with you, why they're reaching out. I mean, you're just making it so simple for them and, and there's no friction really, you know, and it's, it's telling them exactly probably what they want to hear because they're, you're, you're solving their problems from second one. I, I, I would think so. I think, but a lot of, like I said, last week, yeah same time last week uh, so sunday about 5 days ago because mm-hmm. sunday was the last day there was this lady who came and she at the end of the third day we asked people you know 50 people can come up on stage and tell us what you liked so there's one lady who was having difficulty talking and she said i just went through mouth uh, mouth cancer surgery and i came back and i uh, you know uh, this is what i loved about the program and all of that so so yes a lot of people are, and that's what drives you to do you know what you're mm-hmm. doing good work and you're making money and i say Right. Making money is 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 the primary goal of a business, and to impact 
people. So we're doing both. So we're feeling happy so far. That's a perfect model. Yeah, I know. It's brilliant, man. Yeah. Um, is there anything on that? Well, uh, unpack? Uh, th there was something else I wanted to, to circle back around to, but it's not on the video topic. So if there was still more you wanted to dig in on the video Go topic. So uh, there was something that you mentioned earlier and you kind of said it quickly, but I wanted to touch mm -hmm. on it because I think it's very interesting is you mentioned that you're running Quora ads. Mm. And I'm actually very curious about that because we've done some stuff on Quora organically and it's been actually a really, really effective way to drive traffic and leads to our website, but we've never played with Quora ads. So I'm kind of curious if maybe you could like give us a little a uh, hint of what your strategy is over on Quora ads. Sure. Of course, the same. Like I said, my videos are the, my videos are the same. Uh, so I do two things. First, I lead people to uh, my YouTube video where they see who I am and everything. At the end, I give them a free PDF or a free download or invitation to a webinar. So they're in that loop, you know, and they, they have to give my e their email address. So they're in that loop. After about a week or 10 days, then I tell them about my new workshop or whatever's coming in. And... Uh, I, but Quora, the only difference between my Quora ads and everything else is I uh, I don't have it right now with me, but I have a piece of paper like this and I hold it up and I say three steps to become a good digital marketer or get a raise in your salary as a digital marketer or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, because people are scrolling through. It's a different format. People are reading yeah. and, they, and they want to read. So I want them to read what I'm saying before they click in. So that's that's the only differentiation for that I do with Cora. I feel that people want to see what's there yeah, inside yeah. before everything else. Yeah. And that does help, yeah, with the ads and even organic to have some kind of video or even an image, but yeah, some kind of media there. If I could see yeah. you holding a little whiteboard up or something, mm. you can write it whenever you... <laughs> 100%. Also, I feel that, you know... Uh, you know the guy who the signboard guy, the who the guy who holds up his sign. Oh yeah. If, yeah. Yeah. If we have similar signboards, if you say stand whatever you're doing in the office or whatever, with every episode, if I you know I'm just thinking aloud while I'm talking to you. Yeah. Every all of those uh, are underutilized, and mm. the yeah. more you, it's just about laziness, man. I'm just so <laughs> so used to getting everything done with tech and everything. If yeah. I just go around and you know show my whole body and get out of my shorts and everything i can make better videos <laughs> <laughs> yeah man well you uh, what you've shared here is just a perfect format i mean because you're hitting all the different you know it's the customer journey it's the you're bonding with folks from second one but taking them effortlessly through a journey but you have a system for it all and um what are what are like so you said 33 other videos obviously we're not going to go through them all but you know you give us three which are right killer the i base, mean yeah what are these other 33 <laughs> so when it comes to sales there are follow-up videos mm. and then there are videos for different industries how do how do you get in touch with somebody from the real estate industry which are the points to take uh, care of yeah. uh, hospitality as a digital marketer you uh, you're a course creator what kind of videos you should reach out so see as course creators mostly we're selling b2c one-to-one yep. one-to-one one. and i'm saying as a course what i'm doing is i reach out to large corporations and i say i'll teach your entire organization or if you're part of eo or ypo or you know i'd reach out to large companies and say you have a group of members or you have communities let me do a you know a, a discounted pricing and let me sell 200 courses together in one so what they do is they say most organizations then say fine i won't pay you the 10 15 thousand dollars for a speaking fee which has now become seven thousand because it's virtual yeah. but i won't pay you the seven thousand as well uh why don't you come and sell to our audiences i'm saying fine that's perfect i do i love selling so i'll do that so uh so we tell people how to do that as well so se videos that will help you sell on uh, uh sell to corporations uh, mm -hmm. sell to partners sell to uh uh you know amazing podcasters about your message uh youtubers how to you know it's a different message for a youtuber and yep. how to do a research before to understand what it is and so, so that that makes the thirty uh, video signatures on your email. Oh, uh, interesting! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. And uh, on what the WhatsApp status has a short video thing as well. What to do there in your Instagram highlights? Uh -huh. They're supposed to be highlights, and people don't use them at all. Right. Everybody goes there and looks at your highlights, but nobody's doing anything. That's the most boring part. It's the <laughs> most expensive real estate. Go there and put what you what Gary Vee said about you or yeah. what your best podcast uh, guest said about your show and so that's so everything so there are videos in for everything your linkedin uh, profile video what should it say when somebody opens up what should you say in the first 30 seconds and what should why linkedin video should be different from a facebook video so these 33 videos normally take people 
a month to do if they are but but uh, you know the human condition is such we all like to procrastinate so yeah. we break it into a 100 day program we say in 100 days you need to get it done otherwise you don't get the challenge or yeah. you know we have a we have a we have a reward back offer as well so if people get into a program they pay 2000 2500 whatever we get them 500 some 700 750 back if they've mm. done the money mm. you know if they've done the program so, so your completion rate is probably pretty good then hopefully <laughs> yes yes it is because what happens is people want the money back and we want the results to showcase as testimonials yep that's right No, it, it, yeah. man, this is cool. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, the, the email signature. I want to just ask one question about that. Is, so, are you? Is it basically like this? Is what I imagine. Like maybe a screenshot of a video down in your signature, and if they click on it, it takes them to like YouTube or something. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. yeah I just wanted but, to clarify it, that concept because that's really yes. cool. Because it has to be. It has to be contextual to that week or that month. Like right, right mm -hmm. now, I'm doing a webinar. It should say, "Come for my webinar," mm -hmm. or you know, yeah. Oh man. Man, yeah. this is cool. Now I can see why those 33 videos if you just do those within the 100 days or sooner, you know, you yeah. you essentially covered all your basis on the internet. And and then you have outreach, you know, and bond, and follow-ups. I mean, these are all without templates, it's tough. I mean, that's there's you got to have a flow for all this stuff and and you've always done it. you've done it at scale. Yes, and and you know like I would say honestly, 25% people finish the whole program in the in the in the first 30 days and that's why we have we make it a 100 day program because we want at least 75% people to finish it people who finish it they get they they always get i always say it's like you know you see a movie star he bulks mm -hmm. up for a movie and then you know it slims down in three months yeah it, it's and and there are people like me who are struggling to lose weight for the last 43 44 years <laughs> <It's not laughs> there fair. is a shift <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a system there's a coach and there's a format that's all mm -hmm. so if there's a system coach and format and you can con within 100 days i think most things are possible yeah i agree with that 100% man wow yeah this is this is amazing so how can folks go uh, oh, remind them where they can go grab this and and join everything So Instagram is the best. Ask yeah. Aviaria, A S K A V I A R Y A. My Instagram channel. That's where all the magic happens. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we I do Instagram live almost every second day, and yeah. that's where we have all the fun. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun, man. So I, I know I'll be uh, stalking you a little bit on there and, <laughs> <laughs> and joining you as well. Yes, I would love to exchange Instagram handles just after this. <laughs> We will, my man. Well, I appreciate your time very much, yeah. and uh, yeah, we'll definitely join you on one of those sessions. <laughs> 100%. I would love that. Thank you very much for your time. It deeply means a lot to me. Anything I can do to be able to promote your amazing show to my audiences, have you on my Instagram live or for, you want to come for the thousand people webinar as a guest appearance, anything that you want, whenever you send me an email, my answer is going to be yes, let's do it. All Thank of the you, above. We, uh, we'd love to work with you deeper because this has been amazing. 100%. You're, you're our kind 100%. of people. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Thank you, Avi. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Ow! Woo. What? Hey, Yo. we just wrapped up another killer episode with yeah, Avi. Yeah. Wiki, wiki, wiki. <laughs> I don't know. We're still getting we're, used to our soundboard here. We're play, <laughs> playing with the music and all the tech stuff in our new fun studio. Um, what do you think about that episode? I'm not asking you, Matt. I'm asking the listener. Oh, I thought you were asking me, but nobody's ever asking I'll me. Wait, I'll wait for a response. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I'll be a while. All right, Matt, what do you think? So I'll, two I'll, weeks <laughs> after we recorded this, you're going to be sitting in front of the support desk, and then we will complete this conversation. I am waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that was an amazing episode. Um, you know, we've said this a few times on past episodes in, in that we pretty much never bring on guests that reached out cold. Like, like straight up cold yeah outreach straight yeah. up cold outreach we pretty much never bring on guests avi was one who did outreach mm -hmm. and he used he literally used the video technique that he shared mm -hmm. on this but the same sort of script that you heard him say on the video was literally how he contacted us we saw his video and went this guy's really interesting mm -hmm. and he's talking about stuff that i don't think we've talked about before mm -mm. um not like this no Yeah, so I mean, he's like out of close to 400 episodes now, he's one of maybe four people to actually get on after a cold outreach. Yeah, and he is the first video outreach that was, I think we've had a couple customized ones in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Avi's definitely stood out, but he's definitely the first video outreach we ever brought on. Yeah, out of the four, that's yeah. still not a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but we get, what, 30-ish a day throughout our inboxes, collective inboxes. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy mm -hmm. and difficult to manage sometimes. But this is how you stand out like, yes. immediately. And actually, I think he sent it to you originally or maybe our support desk. Um, But it, for some you reason, forwarded I'm, it to me. I remember that. 
Yeah, for some reason, I want to say it was maybe LinkedIn. He, maybe. I, I, I can't remember. He either reached out in LinkedIn or email. I don't remember which one. But just the fact that you sent it to... Well, it was an email, actually, because it was an email you forwarded okay, to me. Yeah, so yeah. Um, just the fact that you forwarded him to me was already an indication like, okay, so he must be really good. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, you, because you are usually more of the, the brick wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when when most people email us for like a cold outreach or through cold outreach to be on the show, for the most part, nine out of 10 of those emails, I just kind of archive. I'm just yeah. like, eh, cold outreach. They didn't put any thought or effort into it. They didn't, you know, reference our show. Some of the people I can tell, they don't even know what our show's about, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. um, most of them, it's just kind of like an instant archive. I don't even bother replying at this point. Um, but yeah, so if I, if I see an email and I actually forward it to Joe and I'm like, this <laughs> one might be interesting, you know, that's a, that's a sign that he's doing something right. <laughs> yeah, sign of the time. Yeah, it's good stuff. So he... I mean, shoot, 33 of those video formats. Yeah. Um, he, he was freaking badass to, like, give us three. Yeah. Maybe more. I don't know, like, sprinkled up. But, like, the formats of that. Um, I'm sure if you get the uh, episode uh, action guides. Mm-hmm. We will have some of this structure in there for you. So uh, we covered a lot. Make sure to go to flowchartgroup.com and plug in your email address within two weeks of this episode to get the notes for free. Yes, do that. Um, please do that. Uh, yeah. So these are going to be fun because, shoot. And you should probably go join Avi's uh, master classes. I forget exactly what he calls, but <laughs> go experience some of this stuff. Yeah. But uh, what, what, what came to mind, Matthew? Oh, dude. A lot, obviously. A lot. <laughs> I mean, so he's managed to build 126,500 people mm -hmm. who have been on his program. I'm assuming that was his like dollar webinar that people come on. I it sounded like that because he said there was, I think it was about 300-ish, but it's like after that. Yeah. yeah. I could be totally wrong though, but that's a much higher ticket. Yeah. And thing. since those are a dollar, um, a dollar to be on the webinar, those are technically 126,500 uh -huh. customers that he has on his list. Probably a little less because I, you know, it sounds like he does <laughs> invite some people to, to join for free from time to time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's still 100,000 plus Ooh. email uh, buyer list, customer list who have paid him money, given him credit card details. Yeah. He's used these same techniques to get 94,000 Instagram followers. Well, I love the cr the way that, yeah, he starts with what you just said there. Yeah, Facebook ad to this. Yeah. And then once they've gone through all the stuff with him for, what, like at least two hours. Yeah. Then he's bringing them over to Instagram to go get some more cool free value. But by that time, they're like, of course, I'm going to follow this guy over there. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. So that's... It just seems like a perfect way to grow an Instagram that's integrated with what he's already doing. Yeah. And, it, you know, it, I, I think what intrigued us about him when he reached out is this is something that we've been doing, mm -hmm. more you than me, but but uh, collectively as a company, we've been doing it. And um, mm -hmm. we've never really had a sort of methodical process behind it. Not really. Right? There was we just no, knew why we would send videos. Yeah, we kind of so. knew the why and the when to send them, yeah. but we didn't have any sort of framework behind it, right? Pretty so much. we do a lot of videos uh, where somebody comes on our show and we'll send them a video thanking them for being on our show and then mm -hmm. offering them some support and some you know, various relevant ways to them yeah. um, based on some of our outside conversations. Uh, so we do that. You do a lot of videos where you're actually reaching out to customers mm -hmm. and after you know, they join a program of ours. After they yeah. join one of our programs, we do, a, you do a lot of videos where um, we're trying to get affiliates to promote our products. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of videos going out asking for help with promotion. So we're doing a lot of this micro video concept stuff, but we didn't, we never really had any sort of like legit framework behind it yeah, yeah. And these are frameworks for sure yeah and I, I think that was what was what was so cool but plus he also gave us like how many additional ideas where we can do these same style of videos again mm -hmm. right yeah. <laughs> i mean there's so many uses and and like he was saying those other 30 well the bank of 33 videos obviously we covered a few in depth yeah uh but those other ones are like almost go deeper on the specific verticals follow-ups and all that so i mean really you can start getting running a little bit with these videos that we that we outlined yeah um obviously it's probably better to just go through you know pay actually, the dollar <laughs> yeah pay the buck um but yeah man you're right and just the fact that he's taken advantage of it during the pandemic as well mm -hmm. but it just shows that the i don't know i feel like the attention's more there and people still haven't picked it up on it, picked up on how to leverage video properly because mm -hmm. even i mean i've said it before but like the responses when i'm even sending a uh like one of the examples of when I send a Loom video is when uh, Sue Sue and support will 
say, hey, someone joined our Thrivecart Facebook group mm-hmm. and they have a buyer intent question. You know, yeah. like they're not a customer because we actually ask, are you a customer, yes or no? And they usually have the question in there. And when someone comes in, she's like, hey, here's one to make a video for. And I will, it takes like three minutes maybe. I would modify it uh, based off of Ari, uh, Avi's thing. Mm-hmm. But um, but after that, like almost every single response is like, holy moly, I was not expecting this. And it was just, just the video factor. Mm-hmm. If it was an email, maybe a little wow factor, but probably yeah. not as much. Yeah, one question I actually meant to ask, um, but for whatever reason slipped my mind before the episode was over was to kind of was to ask about the tools that he uses. Um, I was on my notes list <laughs> too, and I forgot. <laughs> but so we use uh, Loom mostly, right? Mainly in Bonjoro. So Loom for that outreach, I just said. So, okay, this is something I, I actually don't really know too much about. Like why Loom versus Bonjoro? Can't you do the same stuff with Loom that you can do with Bonjoro? No, I mean, you could, but you're going to work more. Mm. So Bonjoro actually, and this is Chris Benetti, I got to give him props because he was the real magician that taught me uh-huh. uh, because I was questioning the same thing. I think I asked him that same question. He's right. like, no, no, bonjour all the way. Yeah, yeah. Because basically you can integrate that with your, you know, maybe leads or sales or whatever. So you can actually, so if you log into our bonjour, it actually gives you a task list. So every mm-hmm. customer will be added to a task list and says, hey, make a video for Bob that just joined Pod, ha- Pod Hacker. Mm-hmm. And then I will just open up the app, go through the task list, and it literally will go from, all right, cool, you just completed that video, on to the next one, on to the next one. So there's like a, almost like a little like CRM yes. workflow that's in there as well. 100%. Gotcha. And okay. you can sync it with Slack, so you're never going to miss something, or you can see replies, mm. and you can have full-on conversations in there. Yeah. Well, it sounded like, based on what Avi was saying, it, it sounds like he takes videos and just puts them on YouTube, puts them on Instagram. It was different them, than what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. But you can take the structure and apply it everywhere. Yeah. I mean, so, Do yeah. you remember how he sent us that video? Like, when he sent the video for Outreach? Up. <laughs> like, I'm wondering, was it, like, he, did he drive us over just to a YouTube link? I um, believe so. I believe so. Because, uh, I mean, that that could be the answer, too. But the one, one thing that's kind of interesting about that is if he's doing all of this outreach, you know, minimum three a day, five days a week, um, and he's driving everybody to a place where they can watch a video over on YouTube... I bet that has a pretty decent impact on his YouTube subscriber amount as well. Maybe. Yeah, I'm actually, I just pulled up his outreach email. <laughs> it's really good. I forgot he had, so he had a lot of details in there too. It wasn't just the video, uh, but let me click the link. YouTube. Yep. He's taking you to a YouTube. So he actually recorded the video. We don't know what tool or camera he used for the video. Well, most likely his iPhone. His phone. He, he held it up on video. So, and he yeah. said all you need is a phone. So I'm sure. I We're mean, actually maybe, pulling up the video again. We're going to watch it real quick. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Yeah. He's sitting in his office chair with his phone in his hand. Yeah. And it, on the on the actual video itself, it says, hi, Matt and Joe, please watch till the end. Yeah. So it's obviously customized. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you can do this kind of stuff with Loom. But yeah, I mean, the fact that, uh, yeah, he's got a good amount of subscribers on there. And well, how it, many subscribers is that? Tw- uh, 2,000. Uh, sorry. 20,000. 20, so he's got about 20,000. 20, yeah. Okay. So about uh, 20,500 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Um, I but, just liked it just to make sure that. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's even <laughs> simpler than the Loom Bonjour. Like he's just using his iPhone camera and then throwing it up on YouTube real quick. And then when he does the outreach, he links you over to the YouTube video. Well, and then obviously he's putting an overlay of text on here too. So I'm maybe, sure he just does that in the iPhone app. I'm guessing. I, maybe. Maybe. You know he's got a system for it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but yeah, no, it's a YouTube video, and and this was a three minute and eight second video. So, it doesn't take a long time, and that's the beauty of it. It's like, and like you said, yeah, you know, the time is really most expensive thing that we all have. Yeah, and it's our time, and life is short, and you know the whole and you know the reason why he did this is he wants to be with his family more. Yeah. So yeah. shoot, you know, just knock him out with the system, and yeah, that was really cool. I, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I just think it's a really smart model. Everything yeah. he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll you'll probably be hearing from um, Avi a little bit more if you're you know mm-hmm. hanging out in our ecosystem in the group or a Pod Hacker member or yeah. or, or that kind of thing. Because I think um, we're scheming you know, up some ways. To yeah, we, we chatted <laughs> with him a little bit more after we stopped the recording, and we've got some uh, some cool exciting oh, yeah. things that we'd like to partner up with him on, or uh, well, not necessarily partner, but you know, collaborate mm-hmm. with him on. Yeah. So. Uh, some cool stuff, and you'll probably be hearing his name in our circles a little bit more in the coming weeks and months. Well, and I, I think one of the big things that kind of is a uh, maybe a, a gut check to some people is like if you're not using video and leveraging some of these tools and just, I mean, 
obviously it's not even that tool, you know, not a lot of tools, iPhone and YouTube. Yeah. We can all do that. Um, but like we're the, the future is here. He was saying, he was like, you, you know, like this is magic. Like, yeah. we're, we're sitting here. We've today we've chatted with two guys in, uh, in Canada, Yep. but like, you know, he was traveling to to India from Canada. I don't know yeah. how many hours that is, but that yeah. is ridiculous. Well, he said he was on a plane 52 times a year or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like, like, that's once a week <laughs> for a year. It's insane. So, uh, yeah, it's magic. But if we're not harnessing video in a right way right now, even if you're not a creator type or doing YouTube stuff, well, still use video to connect with people. Mm-hmm. It's just like... Yeah, because we used to be uh, a, a seminar junkies as well. I wouldn't say junkies, but we, we, we went, went to, to a lot. Yeah, I mean, we went to at least one a quarter. And there was one year I remember. I don't remember what year it was, but t- 2010, 2011, yeah. before any of us had kids. Yeah. Um, right. I remember there was one year where I think I was at a different event once a month, Probably. which was pretty, like, the most extreme I've done. Yeah, I think that's the most I've ever done, too. Yeah. But, you know, like, just... The fact that we did that because that's how we wanted to increase our network and it worked. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's how we, I was closing sales on my, my agency at the time Mm -hmm. because I was, I was very much like a one-to-one kind of guy. So like, just like how Avi's doing this with video, I was doing that in person. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing. And then you were, were leveraging seminars as well for, I mean, you were kind of doing the WordPress classroom thing, but you were growing your network, probably getting affiliates and all that stuff there, partners. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why people, I think, are seminar junkies. It's not always for the content. It's to be in the room with the people. The room where it happens. Connect. Be in the room where it happens. Hey, hey. Uh, trademark. Don't, Don't use the melody. We'll blah, get in trouble. Because <laughs> the people. Got to cover it up. No, yeah. <laughs> you heard nothing. The Google people that own the rights to that song are definitely listening to our podcast. I definitely know so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know so. But yeah, I mean. Is if if you're not harnessing this stuff right now, I mean, there is a massive opportunity, and and like Avi said, I've, I mean, there's not a lot of people doing it still. Yeah, and it's like if you don't have a structure, then it gets really tough, and then you yeah, procrastinate, and you probably don't ever do it. Yep. So don't be that person. Don't be not that person. It. Don't All be right. that person. Yeah. Okay. So I have a, I have a quote from Avi that yeah, I really no. liked. Oh, he said, "Webinars are the superpower of the 21st century." He Did mentioned you? webinars a lot. Yeah, he's a fan of them. I think so. Yeah. And uh, luckily, we have a fabulous sponsor that syncs up nicely with Avi's <laughs> message there, and that's uh, Easy Webinar. Yep. So Easy Webinar is your magic tool to sync in with video and what Avi was just talking about. I don't think we need to say any more than that, really. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to do the, the, the webinar thing, well, Easy Webinar is who we recommend going to. 100%. And um, one of the reasons we recommend it, it, well, A, it's awesome, but B, they're hooking up Hustle and Flowchart listeners with a discount. That's you. So. Yeah, they're hooking you up with, uh, I mean, depending on the plan, it's it's a substantial chunk, something like 30-ish percent or something like that. Mm. Usually I don't want to say the percentage because maybe it changes. It's you, good. It's you want people it. to click the link. You need to open the loop in their minds so well, they click the link to see how big the discount is. Well, you know, I just gave it away. The discount is somewhere it. between 1% and 100% and more. <laughs> yeah. But it's not 100% and it's not 1%. He wouldn't be able to withstand easy webinar if he was just giving it away to yeah, everyone. I don't, yeah, but I don't think he'd make a living off of that. No. Nah, but you know what? Easy webinar has been around for a long time and they have a ton of customers. We know this because we've personally sold many folks as an affiliate. And I saw into, my kids doing class on it one day. So I know schools are using thing. it. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely the tool that you should be using for webinars because webinars are the superpower of the 21st century yeah so we got it we, yeah we got to get um that that testimonial from avi up on the easy webinar site or that cool on the hustle flow chart like special page yeah actually we should probably say that all right so to get this special hookup <laughs> we deal, should mention that because it would probably help you know you and easy webinar figure out this whole connection thing go to easywebinar.com slash hustle hustle easywebinar.com slash hustle hustle and you'll see the fatty discounts and start using webinars for the superpowers that they are for the 21st century or maybe beyond maybe beyond. beyond i don't know how far does the 21st century go a long um, time until the year twenty one hundred. I think so. And then I think the twenty one hundred would be the twenty second century. Mm. Our I webinar is going to be around because the century is a hundred years. So that yeah, would be. Yeah. So if we're in the twenty first century now, wait, are we in the tw- what? What <laughs> century are we in? <laughs> See, that's what they always get screwed up on. I'm like, hold on, I'm a little confused by the century thing now. Well, it's twenty twenty one, so that's like what's messing with my brain. Right. It's like twenty. For, I think it's the 21st century. It is. Um, well, he said it, so yeah, I'm taking so Avi's word for the it. The 22nd century would start in 21. 
hundred or twenty one oh one. Well, you better you get go. ahead of the game and get easy <laughs> webinar now. Yeah, you've only got seventy nine years to figure <laughs> it <laughs> out. <laughs> oh. But the deal, <laughs> who knows how long. So go to easywebinar.com slash hustle. Get in there. You'll love it. All righty. Let's do that. What are you doing? Oh, All right. Good. And you know what? If you haven't gotten the notes, well, I haven't gotten the notes yet, go to flowchartgroup.com. Enter your email address. That'd be quick. It's two weeks. Two weeks. Why is it two weeks, Matt? Because. Because we made it up. We get rid of them, and <laughs> two weeks was the number we decided we are going to get rid of we them. we add urgency to things that we want you to take action on. So go to flowchartgroup.com. Get the notes. You like that? I bumped it up at the end. Ooh, <laughs> so wiki. fancy. Yeah. We got to program more stuff in there so we can just have the wiki wiki and stuff like uh, that. We're, no, I, I like the wiki wiki. Wiki wiki wiki. Come no, on. You just want to do it? Well, yeah. But I if mean, I had a button, I could press it over and over and over again. And just be like, wiki wiki. I don't want you to control my wiki. Wiki 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 wiki. Like that. <laughs> but you just did it so well. No, I was having a stroke. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I will. Luckily, our office is pretty close to the hospital. That is true. We'll go there now. <laughs> so, all right. Saying that, uh, if you loved this episode and other episodes, and if you uh, are a first time listener, welcome. Thank you for listening all the way. Yeah, share like it with it, a friend. Share it with a friend. Subscribe, comment. We probably should read some reviews because we have some epic reviews. I was reading them recently. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I know we promised that before, but you know. If you love this one, go help us out. We didn't help think of it in advance this time. Uh, that happens sometimes. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody, for listening to this episode of the Hustle and Flowchart podcast. For taking the time to listen, we want to give you something a little bit special. Every single episode that we do, we actually have somebody on our team take notes. We basically have a Cliff's Notes version of every episode where you can go and find all of the tips and tactics that they laid out, all of the resources that they laid out, all the good stuff from this episode. We actually have a nice, simple notes version that you can find on our website. So go to evergreenprofits.com, find this episode that you just listened to, and uh, give us your email address, and we'll send you the notes. Thanks for listening. Mm, 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 mm.